Today's video is going to be a seed haul from a company I've never bought from before. And I don't know how to pronounce the name. Nikotovok? Mm, there it is, guys. My daughter's in the background making some ants on a log snack, so hopefully she's not too loud back there. You want to say hi, Jade? Hi, Jade. <laughs> Gotta love her. Okay, so this company, I've been gifted seeds from quite a few people. Or not gifted. I've traded with people that I've, they have this on their packaging, so I, like, looked it up. So glad I did. It, they all came in a bag like this whole whole bunch of them there's still more in here i got a bunch on the table right in front of me but they were all is that all of them in this little package here and these were i forget what they are in euros i think it's like 195 or something but it it not translates what is that trans transfers or no I don't know to a dollar 19 US dollars so they're like a little bit more than a dollar per pack so I went crazy <laughs> lots of different stuff to choose from not just tomatoes all kinds of stuff I got lettuce I got tomatoes I got peppers I think I, I got they had a, lots of different basils I got some basils okay so let me see if I can get this uh, organized since I just made a total mess of it. I got lettuces. They had so many tomatoes I'd never seen before. Flowers. I got flowers. I just thought for like a little bit over a dollar and the, and, and the amount of seeds. The amount of seeds in each pack was really impressive because sometimes you order from places and you get like 10 to 12 seeds. This was a substantial amount of seeds. Oh, I knew I had more basils started a whole bunch of ba types of basils and I was thinking to myself while I was doing it I was like I swear I have more basils than this and I did so I'm gonna start some more basil today <laughs> so if you're someone like me that when you're bored or um, just buying seeds makes you happy and you want to have a little happiness um, in your life this would be a place that you could go to and not feel like it's ripping you off. I can't remember. I don't even think shipping was that much. This package was shipped from Ukraine. I think I only had paid like a couple of dollars for shipping, which I thought was incredible. Like this, all of this stuff I'm about to show you was no more than, I believe it was $36. The one thing that I will say is that it didn't come with a... Uh, like a breakdown, what do you call that? A receipt that had all of the stuff that I got from them on it. But I went back into my email and I will put exactly how much this entire order was. I didn't even think I got like a certain percentage off because I purchased over $25 worth of seeds or something. I can't remember, but I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm like stealing from them now. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. I'm getting excited again just by looking at all this stuff like I want to go get on there again I'm not I'm not going to but this will be a place that next year when it's time to sit down and and purchase more seeds <laughs> with like different stuff like not just tomatoes this had this has everything oh my gosh it's taking me forever and I did start some of the tomatoes from here and I feel like when I did sit down and order from this place i was only on their website for like 20 minutes <laughs> had all of this stuff in my cart oh yeah if you like basils this is a, a site that you want to go check out all right i've got it all organized so why don't we start the seed haul i'm five almost six minutes in and i haven't even started so Let's try to make this a little bit quicker than my February or my March trades haul. That one was forever. It's going to take me forever to edit. All right, so we'll start with tomatoes. Yellow furry boar, and look at how many seeds you get. So it comes in this kind of packaging, little Ziploc baggie, and then it has a little piece of paper that you can remove, which I think is cool to do that because whenever you're done with this, you could actually reuse that baggie because it did, they didn't put the sticker on it. 
So it came with two packages of a bunch of seeds inside that package. Do you see how many seeds that is? That's $1.19. $1.19. The little piece of paper, and it does have like a little picture. I'll put a better one up, but it has a little picture of what you're getting. And then on the back, it tells you the sowing depth, the distance between plants. It's just got a, a nice bit of information on um, when you go to plant. So I, I appreciate that. It's pretty cool. This place is, hopefully the germination of the seeds is good too, because I, I enjoy the variety already. All right, so this next one is vernissage yellow so i have i believe it's black vernissage and i might even have gotten like red vernissage from someone oh thank you for my snack mm -hmm. ants on a log mm. i'm so hungry i haven't eaten yet today and it's almost one o'clock does anybody else do that intermittent fasting i i enjoy it i usually don't eat breakfast supposedly it's good for you and <laughs> okay next tomato i got from there was zlatava and these, so I guess certain seeds, these seeds were fun because they're blue. And so what I've learned, one of you commented and let me know that this is like a protective coating to keep seeds from um, molding or, uh, was it molding? I can't remember, but it's, it's a protective coating. The seeds aren't actually blue. <laughs> this one's fun. I like the name of it, Paradise Pleasure. Chameleon. Do you see? Do you see all the seeds? That's a lot of seeds. Uh, Citrina. Love you, babe. Love you too. Shrivenjishki. Lemon Giant. I'm excited about this one. I didn't realize I'd gotten so many tomatoes from there. Summer Sunset. I started, I started uh, probably about eight, eight or nine of these. This one I started. Balaya Vishna, Vish, Vishnia. Heaven Organ. Uh, Gargamel. Started this one. That one's so cool. Uh, giraffe. I think I traded for this one. Did I trade for giraffe? Zebra White. Vincent Illusion. Etuel. Etuel. E T U A L. To Etuel. That's a. It's a fun. That's a fun looking tomato. I love fun looking tomatoes. I hope it tastes good too. <laughs> but I'm not hard to please. Heart, Ashgabat. That's the last tomato that I got. All right, so we'll go ahead and do peppers next. I got sweet pepper bogdan. And look how many pepper seeds you get. That is a ton of pepper seeds. A lot of pepper seeds. This is chili pepper chocolate habanero. And this one did not come with a ton of seeds. So I guess it came with two packets. I think I planted like four. But it came with two packets of five. Or maybe I planted three. So this one is a little bit of a rarer one, I guess. So I'll be trying to save seeds from that one this year. Uh, sweet Pepper Australian. So this one came with a bunch of seeds. Uh, sweet Pepper Orpheus. I like that they have whether it's sweet or hot. That's one thing that I'm gonna have to do when I go to plant, I have to look up a bunch of the ones that have different names because I don't know whether they're hot or sweet and I'm separating them. Like I'm doing sweet peppers here at my house and then I'm taking all of the hot peppers to the new garden plot at my family member's house. So I'm gonna have them all separated. That way I can save the seeds from them and they won't be, you know, because hot will cross pollinate with sweet so easily. And then when you save the seeds from your sweet peppers, the following year, you're gonna have hot peppers. You don't want that, especially if you're trading. You don't want to be like, this is a sweet pepper. And then they bite into it. It is not sweet. <laughs> so got to be careful with that. This one is a uh, giant Ozark yellow. And he, I got a bunch of seeds of this one. But look, I don't know if you can see 
I don't know if I'll be able to find this picture to put up. Maybe I'll try to take it from their website, but it's as big as her hand. It looks like it's as big as somebody's head. That's a giant sweet pepper. Yummy. Okay, so those, nope, I got one more. No, I did that one. Okay, those were the peppers. All right, I got one cauliflower. Fret, fret. And lots of cauliflower seeds in there. $1.19, y'all, $1.19, blown away. I got a bunch of different cabbages. I don't think I'm gonna get, I have, I, I started a bunch of cabbages in the grow, the jugs, but I didn't get, I wanted to do, put all the cabbages in, um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to plant this up, but it's a good experiment. I never tried cabbages. I didn't get them started early enough. I think I could have probably started them in jugs in like, December. I don't know. Cabbage Yana. All oh, those seeds. Sugar Head. That one sounds yummy. This one came with two packets of a lot of seeds. So Sugar Head. Summer Cabbage Greyhound. And then Red Cabbage Gacko. That one's really pretty. Last cabbage was headed summer cabbage. Ooh, summer cabbage. Baron de Magnat. Mm, I wonder if this one can be grown in the heat. Doesn't bolt as easily. Okay, so those are the cabbages. I got one spinach, New Zealand spinach. And I want you to look at the seeds of this. <laughs> must be, must be a big spinach. So I'm gonna be planting this up today. And I'm also going to be planting uh, the basils. I didn't even start any of these flowers. Should start some of these flowers too. Okay, so let's do the basils. Well, I'll do the celery first. I got a celery. I just got some Pascal celery because I don't really have many varieties of celery. And I do, and I have never actually successfully grown celery, but I would like to, so I'm going to keep trying. I think I put some in some of the um, jugs, the winter sowing jugs. So I need to check those jugs and pick out the things that I need to plant up. So I'm going to do that either today or tomorrow, plant some stuff up. Uh, I got rhubarb again, um, paragon. So I need to start some of that today too. All right, let's put everything in a pile that I'm going to start. Oh, and I'll just go ahead and do the lettuces that I did. I got, I've already planted up, so some of these are completely empty. Well, there's a few, like one seed straggling in there. Baby leaf lettuce vitamin assortment. I planted this and I planted this in the greenhouse. Ramina Goda. So it's a mix, a mix of lettuce, I believe. And then I got Toscana mix. This is how many seeds, so there's two packets of those full seeds in there. And then I got leaf lettuce balcony mix. Leaf lettuce balcony mix. And baby lettuce mix. But look how many, that's a lot of, that's a lot of lettuce seeds. Especially if you're trying to grow lettuce to like actually have like a head or a, you know, I, I usually do cut and come again because that's just how we eat lettuce. We just like the baby leaves and cut them off and then they grow back again and they just keep providing until they go to seed and then you, I save seeds. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the basil last because I'm super excited. They had so many different varieties of basil I'd never seen before, so I went a little nuts. Ka, this These are the flowers. Kamatsuna Red Lilac Girl. Look at all the seeds that you get in there. A dollar nineteen. I keep saying it because I'm just so impressed. Aster, Kralin, Angora. Aster Dwarf, Char No Maru. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I'm definitely starting my flowers today. And Needle Cinderella. That's an Aster as well. I don't think I've ever grown asters before, so I'm pretty excited. I'm growing a lot of stuff I've never grown before. Aster Princess Ricarda. 
And then Garden Lupine Dwarf Mix. I have grown lupine and I love how easy it is to save seeds. I love how easy it is. I love how easily they self-seed themselves. I have a bunch of different lupines out in my, my yard that I didn't plant them. They just self-seeded themselves. And I love plants that thrive on their own. <laughs> So I'm, you know, trying to grow my collection of lupine and snapdragons. Snapdragons is another one that I really, I really like collecting the seeds from or collecting different, different varieties of lupine or lupine and snapdragon. Yeah. All right. On to the basils. Lots of fun basils. This one's called black granite. And look how many seeds you get. That's a lot of seeds. I'm just, <laughs> oh, Ah, uh, I got some kales. I had the kales mixed up with the basils, but we'll finish the basils. Indoor purple basil. So apparently this grows well indoors. Lots of seeds. And then Toscana medinetto. So I didn't go that crazy. I had the kales mixed up. I thought that I'd gotten six different basils. This is only three. It's not too bad. I got meadowlark kale. Lots of seeds, lots of seeds. Ornamental uh, Saka. So this is a bunch of different kinds of ornamental, really pretty looking. I don't know if you can see. I'll see if I can put that picture that they have right there up on the screen a little bigger, but good amount of seeds for the ornamental kales. And then Curly Capral. Curly Capral. And lots of seeds with those. So that is my Nikito Vak Nikitaka. Is that right? Nik Gok Nik Nikitakfa. Okay. That's that haul. This haul right here. I'll put the name right here. Uh, leave it to me to butcher the name three times in the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. I think these are very, very affordable seeds. The shipping was really quick. I got it within a week. The shipping, or I mean, the, the cost of shipping was really cheap. I'll put the how much it costs just to ship it. But $1.19 per packet of seeds. That's, that's awesome. So until the next one, guys, I hope you all enjoy your day.